It's all in fun on the fairway. What's what are last you talking time I saw it? about? We're on the sixth hole. Guys, they're cutting. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten funny golf scenes in movies. For this list, we've ranked the funniest scenes in movie history, which take place on and around a golf course. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay. Yeah! Number 10, the golf cart explosion, Undercover Brother. Stop where you are, this is security, do not move. Quick, this way. There are certain rules of etiquette to abide by when playing golf. You mustn't speak during someone's backswing, you must replace your divots, and you mustn't race away from course security in a golf cart. Do it. Code 37. That last one proves to be a real problem in our first scene, as the eponymous undercover brother makes the water hazard look positively welcoming. Is he crazy? Okay, slow down. Uh -huh. Attacking his adversaries with tease, he sparks a will they, won't they slide towards certain death. And an explosion that would put Tiger Woods off his putt. <laughs> Number 9. The disgruntled grandpa, the sweetest thing. Come on. At the driving range, there are two types of people. Those working hard on their game, and those trying to hit the ball collecting car. The two guys in this clip are definitely in the latter category. Oh, good shot. Oh, I'm gonna shove that club up your ass, you dick licker! With beers in hand, these bros play out many a male's ideal day. Hitting golf balls, talking about women, and having a lightsaber fight. Don't lie, don't lie to Darth Luke. If you can score a few direct hits on the ball harvester as well, then you're on to a real winner. Get up a little. Yes, four! You better f Stop bothering me! You're driving right into him! It's Grandpa who steals this scene in the end, though. Poor, poor Grandma. I met this hot young dish at the World's Fair back in 1940. Every moment with her was like a slice of heaven. Uh, I bet you really miss Grandma, huh? Oh, f Grandma. Number eight, Matt Dillon versus Cameron Diaz, There's Something About Mary. Christ, hit a house. <laughs> I haven't swung the wrenches in a while. We at Watch Mojo would like to elongate this movie's title a bit because in our next scene, there's something about Mary's swing. Nice swing. And by something, we mean something really good. Do you want to give me some pointers here? Yeah, sure. Don't talk in someone's backswing. Cameron Diaz's character may not look like much of a golfer, but she can clearly play, much to Matt Dillon's amusement and to our amusement. The private investigator smooths over the cracks with some silver-tongued conversation afterwards, though. Or not. I'm gonna go get a soda. You want one? No, thanks. Hobbies don't come any more hilariously awkward than this. Uh, look, I'm sorry to bother you again, but, uh, you got change of a dollar? No. All I got are these damn Nepalese coins. You've been to Nepal? Number seven, Michael Jordan swaps sports, Space Jam. Don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Hilarity abounds when 90s NBA stars Michael Jordan and Larry Bird tee off alongside Bill Murray, while an ever excitable Wayne Knight encourages from the sidelines. Be the ball, be the ball. Get off the tee. That's fine. Murray starts by conversing with golf balls, then underestimates basketball to two of the game's best players. Then, when MJ's ball goes bonkers, drives it all home with a killer line. It is alive! <laughs> the overall concept of a golf ball circling the green until it reaches the cup because of an animated underground magnet is hilarious. His airness, then getting sucked into an animated world through the golf hole is just unexpected. Number six. Taking it slow, I love you, man. Okay. Keep your head down. Right. Fluid. Ah, the dreaded air shot. A nightmare for anybody standing over it, and seriously annoying for anybody waiting to play. You're killing us here, seriously. 
In this scene, Paul Rudd and fiance Rashida Jones embark on a double date with celebrated singleton Jason Segel, whose playing partner is in need of some serious practice. Go, ow! Oh, I'm sorry! She does manage a clean hit at least once, however. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry, I'm sorry, Sydney. Sorry. Mother f***er, f***ing cock in my f***ing shit! Only she almost snaps Siegel's leg in half in the process. One cavalcade of cuss words later, and we're laughing like there's no tomorrow. Sorry. This is my nightmare! Number 5. Driving through the driving range, get smart. What was that? If there's one place in the world where it really isn't safe to drive, it's on the wrong end of the driving range. All right, fellas, $20 if you hit the car. Regardless, that's where Steve Carell is headed in our next clip. Now I know how you must have felt when you thought I was a traitor. It is demoralizing. Tractor! He seems entirely unfazed by the golf balls embedded in his driver's side window. But the same cannot be said for Alan Arkin. It's likely Arkin will never look at sand traps the same way again. I don't know how I miss it. I'm usually very observant. Swordfish! Nor swordfish for that matter. In fact, when it comes to driving, whether a car or a golf ball, he'll probably pass. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. Were you thinking, holy shit, holy shit, a swordfish almost went through my head? If so, yes. Number four, golfing on goofballs, hall pass. Kind of soap do you use? At number four, Owen Wilson and Jason Sudeikis embark on a wife-free week in hall pass and are determined to recapture their glory days. Dove? I like dove. I like it. It doesn't dry your skin out so much. How? By getting drunk, getting girls, and in this scene, getting ridiculously high as they and their friends head for the fairways. Feel this. It's so soft. Yeah. Golf may be a gentleman's game, but not when these dudes get through with it. Hey, Hoghead, come here, man. You gotta feel Rick's skin, feel how soft it is. Their hilariously inappropriate antics are enough to turn the sand pits brown. Ew. Anybody have any napkins? Come on, man! Number three, golf course air horn, Jackass the movie. When people tee off, when they're coming down with their uh, swing, we're gonna blow these air horns. Why talk through someone's backswing when you could systematically sabotage it with an air horn? <laughs> she still hit it pretty good. At least that's the jackass way of looking at things. In this skit, Johnny Knoxville and company hide out in the trees and do their damnedest to ruin people's rounds. The victim's initial confusion turns to frustration, which in turn turns to anger. But our air horn heroes can see nothing but the funny side. It's less PGA and more LOL, a timeless golfing gag. Number two, danger field dancing, Caddyshack. Four. That's a fine shot. Oh! Comedic golf doesn't get much better than Caddyshack. So what? So what? So let's dance. Both the bishop's best and last round of his life and the film's ultra-explosive ending are hilarious highlights. But it's this clip of Rodney Dangerfield dancing to Journey's Any Way You Want It that will forever be remembered. No, never. The guy may have had too much swagger for the traditionalists in this movie, but that's what makes him awesome to us. The man's a menace. From his dress sense to his dance moves, he's 18 holes of comedy gold. And he can land a low blow from anywhere on the course. Hi, Bushwood. You, uh, you bastard. Hey, I'll you. Take it up. Break it up. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Nice shot. Jack offs. What the hell are you doing? Oh, oops. <laughs> Look out. Where the hell's my 9 out of that? Well, I was going to bring the other back. Let me explain something to you, all right? You are in charge of this area right here. Hundred dollars, whoever hits the plan. Marriage is an important part of getting ahead. Let's people know you're not a homo. Married guy seems more stable. Number one, 
brutal Bob Barker, Happy Gilmore. All right, let's go. Oh! You like that, old man? What do you get when you cross a legendary game show host with Adam Sandler in a golf course? A whole lot of hilariously unexpected aggression, of course. We might have selected Happy Gilmore's brilliant ball rage as our clubhouse leader. I mean, I just couldn't get the ball in the hole. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. But instead, we've gone with Barker, fearing that he'll beat us up otherwise. I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. Playing his part in a pro-am tournament, there's no doubt that Barker's drawn the shortest straw with Gilmore. But did anyone see this coming? Now you're gonna get it, Bobby. It's less the price is right and more the price is fight. The price is wrong, bitch. And we absolutely love it. I think you've had enough. Do you agree with our list? Boom. Which hilarious golf scenes did we skip? For more tournament winning top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Incredible! Happy Gilmore wins the gold jacket!